In this video, you will learn about date function in PySpark. Let's import Spark session from PySpark dot SQL import Spark session. This will help us to create Spark session. Import PySpark dot SQL dot functions as F. We are going to use date functions from this module functions. And then we will also import the Unix timestamp and the Unix from Unix timestamp from PySpark dot SQL dot functions import Unix time Unix timestamp and from underscore Unix time. Let's execute our code. We are going to use this library in our date function. First, I am going to create a Spark session and save it in the object Spark. I will call the class Spark session. From this, I will call builder dot get or create. Let's execute our code. This has created a Spark session and save in this object. Now we are going to read a CSV file and save in a variable df. From Spark, I will call the method read.csv. Inside this, I will pass my CSV file name biostats.csv. I'll pass two parameters. The first parameter is info schema. This is going to be true. This will get the schema for us, for example, column times. The next parameter is header. This is also going to be true. Let's execute our code. To look at the data frame, we will use the method show. I will write df.show and in the output, you can see the data frame. We have columns such as name, gender, age, height, weight, date and date time. This column has date, but this column has date as well as date time. First, we are going to see how we can print today's date. In this two column, we don't have the today's date, but these are the random dates. We are going to see how we can print today's date or the current date and for that we will use the method current date from the functions. I will create a new column in this data frame. I will write df dot with column. With column is used to create a new column. Inside this I will pass my new column name and my new column name would be today's date. And to get the today's date, we have to use the function current date from the module functions that we have imported as f. I will write f dot current date. And now let's execute our code dot show. And here in the output, you can see we got a new column here and the column name is today's date. At the time of recording this video, the today's date is 29 October and we got the today's date here for this entire data frame. Then we can also get today's date as well as time. Here you will see we just have the date but we don't have the time. We can also get today's time also. Let's get date and time as well. I will write df dot with column. Then I will write the column name, today's date and time. I will use the function f dot current timestamp. Now I will do show. And here in the output, you can see I got the today's date as well as the time. And at the time of recording the video, the time is 22 is to 14. Let's look at the column types of our data frame. We will use the method print schema. I will write df dot print schema. And here in the output, you can see we got the column types here. We have these two variables date and date time and they are of type string. We need to convert this into date type. I will show you how to convert a date variable into a date if it is in the form of string. I'll make one new data frame df2 and then I will select this 
column date df dot select the column name is date we are going to convert this column date into type date from this string type and then I will call here the function from unix time that we have imported above inside this I will call the function unix timestamp and now I will pass our variable date again and then I will type the format of the date I want I want it to be of the format dd mm y y y so this is date month and year and we can give this a new name uh, we can use alias function for that I will write dot alias and let's give it a new name as new underscore date now let's execute our code we have created this new column date new underscore date we have converted this date variable into date and saved the result in this new data frame df2 let's look at the output i will call this data frame df2 dot show in the output you can see we got the new column here and the column name is new underscore date next we will see the function date add you will see here in this column we have date our first date is 25 october the next date is 26 then 28 29 and so on we can increase the date we can get the next date here instead of 25 we will get 26 here instead of 26 we will get 27 and here instead of 28 we will get 29 and so on we can use the function date underscore add let's do that we will call this data frame df2 dot select and then we will call the function f from this we will call the method date underscore add and we want to add the date in this variable new underscore date I will write here df2 dot new underscore date and we want to increase it by one day I will write comma one and I can give this uh, an alias I will write dot alias I will call this as next date dot show and here in the output you can see we got the next date here our first date was 25 and here you will see the next date is 26 here you will see our date was 26 and the next date is 27 here it was 28 and now we got 29 we can increase it by any number here we have increased by one day I can make it 5 and let's execute this code here instead of 10 we will get 11 now because the month will change after 5 days I'll execute the code and now you will see here the month has changed here here it is 30 31 and then here we are in November 0 2 0 3 and so on this is how you can get a new date or the next date and you can add any number here 1 2 3 4 etc we can add number of days instead of 1 as I have shown you here let's get the previous date using the function date underscore sub and here you will see we have got the next date but we can also get the previous date here instead of 25 we will get 24 here 25 here 27 here 28 and so on for that we will use the me method date underscore sub I will call this data frame df.2 I'll call the method select I'll call function f dot date underscore sub this will subtract df dot two and I want to do this on the column new underscore date and I want to subtract one day so I will write here one I'll give it an alias this will be we will call this column as previous date dot show 
and here in the output you see that we got 24 as our first state and in the original data frame it is 25 we have subtracted by one day that's why we got 24 and here instead of 26 we should get 25 and you can see here we got 25 and so on this is how you can subtract a date and you can get previous state instead of one you can put any number here let's say I'll put 5 here and now we got 20, 21, 23 and so on we can also change the date format from dash to backslash here you can see the date format is the date format is dash dash here 2021 20, dash 10 dash 20 instead of dash we can put here a slash let's do that I will call this data frame df dot df2 dot select f dot date underscore format we will use this function date underscore format and we want to apply this format on the column new date that's why I'm passing here column name new date and the format will be month and slash date and year we can give this alias I'll write dot alias and I will give this new column as new format date I'll write dot show we got an error here because I have to pass this y in small letter I will write y y y let's execute our code and now here in the output you can see we got a new format here instead of dash we got slash here you can change the format of your date using the function date underscore format next we can find the difference between two dates first we will create a new column of current date and then we will subtract the column new date from the current date and find the difference between the two date I'll make one new variable df2 dot with column and this will be current date and to get the current date we will use the method current underscore timestamp and I will assign this result in this data frame df2 I will write here df2 is equal to this whole function let's execute the code now let's look at our new column we will use the method show and here in the output you can see we got the current date here and at the time of making this video the date is 29 October now we are going to subtract these two dates and we will find the difference let's see here we should get 4 because this is also from October and this is also from October this is 29th October and this is 25th October let's subtract I will call df2 dot select and I will call the function f dot date difference this will give us the difference between two date I will call df2 dot new date or first I can call this current date I'll call first current date and then I will call df2 dot new underscore date and I will give this a new name let's say I will write dot alias date difference dot show and here in the output you can see we got the difference in date first we have the difference of four days and we can see here clearly from 29 we have subtracted 25 and we got the output as 4 this is right and here we should get 3 here we should get 1 and here we should get 0 let's see and we got the same result 4 3 1 0 and then in negative because these dates are from these dates are from the November month and this is October that is why we got negative values here and using this function date difference you can find the difference between two dates next we can also create 
uh, we can also get the last day of each month for example here you will see we have this uh, dates here uh, this is for the October then this is for November and December we can get the last day of October November December and so on and to get that we will use the function last day let's do that I will call the data frame df2 dot select and then I will call the function f dot last day and then I will pass the variable name uh, I want to get the last date for this variable new underscore date and I will give this as alias I will write alias last day and then I will do show I'll just remove one bracket from here and now I will do show and here you can see for October the last day of the month is 31st that is why we got 31st here four times 1 2 3 and 4 because here you will see we have four observations for October 1 2 3 and 4 then we have this month November and the last day for the month of November is 30 we got 30 here for all the dates of November then for December the last day of the month is 31st that is why we got 31st for all the for all the, uh, the dates where the month is December now this is how you can find the last day and these are some of the functions that you can use on the on your PySpot data frame to get a uh, to get a date and other values that you want this video was about date function in PySpark if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching